guys, during the December drive all video with this Mojave right here, I pretty much destroyed both discs on this thing. The back gears were just crunched up. The front actually had a broken output on it. I thought it was actually a broken side gear. So really tore up both discs. Basically, all I was able to reuse were the rear outputs and the ring and pinions at both ends. Yeah, I had to redo those quite a bit. We're going to be testing out this right here. CNHL 6200 milliamp 6S battery right here. Uh, thing looks beautiful. Does it perform? Well, we're going to get it in the Mojave and give it a shot. I also took out the MMX 8S system. So it's a little bit less. You'll see. Let's get to the table. Here we go. This is the system. This is the 8S ESC out of the DBXLE. I believe that's where I got that from. I've um, got a Hobby Wing 2200 KV motor right there. Um, pinion gear. I think I went maybe down one on that. Uh, I got a raw 500 servo. Um, I kind of wanted that to be square, of course, but at the angle, it gave me enough room for right through there and all for the, the motor plugs and it's not going to matter. It's glued down. The on-off switch bolted right into the factory location. So that was beautiful. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Vitavon hubs, Vitavon B blocks, the UDR Hyrex tires. Ah, getting a little bit of wear on them. A little bit. Um, yeah, it's just, this thing is awesome. Awesome. Even with the differential problems. Maybe one day we can get Vitavon to make us some differential gears for these axles. Um, the battery, this thing looks spectacular. It charged up well. Um, all the cells looked identical right out of the box. Yeah. It says 90C, but I guarantee you this thing's got some juice. Yeah, oh, it came with, uh, EC5 connectors. I use the XT90s, the Antispark, so, yeah. Anyway get this put in i'll show you guys real quick and outside we go there it is fit beautifully really nice actually got room for more battery but do you really need it i mean the battery is four times the size of the motor now i gotta admit i'm used to seeing the big 1650 kv in here but you know what ah I'm tired of breaking the diffs so hopefully this will run a little bit easier maybe we're about to find out because we're going outside now, before we get started, I want you guys to see I've been doing some pipe work at the track to try to line that up. That whole lane looks so narrow, but heck, it's like 12 feet wide back there. Um, I got this right here so we can go make that turn, and there is Sam. He's gonna track all that dirt inside and lay right on my pillow. Ah, it's a good thing I got spare pillowcases. Well, anyway, we're gonna give this thing a run. It's going to get dirty because it's, uh, well, it is not exactly clean up here, which it never is. We're going to creep right over through here. Should be enough to wake him up. Really, Sam? There we go. Last thing I want to do is hurt my baby boy over there. We're gonna go ahead and hit this jump right here just to see. And I completely missed it. <laughs> My first jump of the day and I missed the jump. Oh my God. And I broke it. Well, it's not completely broke. It just kind of rotated that dog bone out, which seems to be a consistent issue with these things. So at least I get to go inside. It's not completely dirty. I'll get that taken care of and come right back out here. Man, I thought I completely wasted that front end. Wow, that back end came up hard. Well, that was not the start that I had planned for. That back end came up pretty darn hard. Holy moly, I haven't had a 2200 KV in this thing in a while, and it is screaming. Wow, 
1650 was awesome, but you had to gear it up a little bit and uh, it didn't scream like a 22. Uh, Sam was back. All right, we're gonna try that again, except I'm gonna be a little bit lower, um, like down here with it. So that back end came up way too hard. Let's try it again. Okay. <laughs> oh, my body's out at the back. Wow, this has been a horrible run. That was a little better. All right, one more time. If I can get this, then I might try an actual lap. Actually, I'm gonna go try that jump, which I need to finish the actual peak on that. Okay, now we got it going. I don't know what I did to get that bad launch. So, all right, now we're coming over here. Let's go ahead and try this one. Wow, I really need to work on that. That is looking horrible. All right, got it, but I also went off the peak over there. So, anyway, we're gonna come right on around. Wow, this thing is. All right, got that good. Okay, I guess I'm gonna try it from the driver's stand again and hope for the best. Okay. Round two, let's see what we got here. Oh, I did it again, but at least I pulled out of it. Where are you going? Where are you going? All the way into the woods. Oh, I hope I can find the wheel nut. Oh, let's uh, see here. Um, this is not some place I want to actually walk. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Looks like I get to uh, do some digging. Guys, I have searched and searched and searched. I found it. I have braved snakes, spiders, probably a couple Sasquatches. All this digging, all this stuff. I have never lost a tire like this. And I find it. Now I gotta find it again. Look at that. Right down in there. Right up at the front. I, I knew it couldn't go too far. Man, I was about to give up and just go inside and pout. <laughs> at least I got it. <laughs> you ain't getting away from me yet. Guys, that was quite the ordeal. But you know what? It's back together. I have not found the nut. I went on a nut hunt and I have not found it yet. I'm sure eventually I'll be out here walking around or somebody will come up and hand me a nut. And uh, you know, I'll uh, take it and put it back on my hub, right? So, <laughs> let's go ahead and get some more drive in. Um, really wanted to get a little more run on this thing. There we go. Moving right along. There we go. That's actually better right there. Oh, gotta get out of the street away. I tell you, one of my goals for this track is to make it a blast for these particular trucks right here. Now that is so much better over there. I can actually make sure I'm not going into the ditch. Um, but one of the goals of this track, and I've said it before, are these size trucks. We got quite a few Mojaves around here. Oh, that was nice. 
We got quite a few Mojaves. We got some UDRs. Uh, so my goal oh, is to give a place where we can run these things and have a blast while doing so. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Okay, this horrible run has finally turned good. Oh man, I'm happy. I'm happy now. Thought I was gonna have to buy some more pro line tires and some more wheels and all that. So hopefully I can get some more pipe. I like to line that right there and probably do some flex pipe around there so you can kind of see that. Over here will be some flex pipe as well, but uh, yeah, guys. Whoa! I <laughs> really got out there on that one. Very nice. Easiest crash I've had all day. <laughs> well, the 8 SESC, the motor, all that worked out great. Um, it was a horrible first start to this drive. I really thought, I mean, that first shot, bang, it just, uh, it was just that shaft, you know, they would actually flex it further up. This is actually a common problem with this thing. Uh, further up, and I was able to get some slop and got that into place. Um, I legit thought that tire was gone. Tractor and everything, you know, I'm out there moving stuff out, moving, I go like eight feet out, you know, and I'm like really paying attention because of, you know, snakes and stuff. That's kind of almost in the swamp land area, you know? But uh, luckily there was nothing there, good to go. Um, had to track all that stuff and it turned out to be like right under the first log, under the front log. But anyway, I'm glad I found it because you know what? I had to order two new tires and see if I could buy one wheel from Vinavon. Yeah. Anyway, found it. All was good. And after that, I was able to drive it a little bit more and the run was actually really good after that. I don't know what changed. Something did because the whole driving characteristics and everything just boom went through the roof. Maybe when I found that wheel, I turned my driver mod on. Don't know. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. That 8 SESC in there actually run really fine. Everything stayed cool, believe it or not, including the motor. Uh, but anyway, guys, it's all back together. Everything is good. Good run. Uh, track is a little bit dirty, but okay, I've got to wrap this up because I could talk forever, as you guys found out with that live stream, right? Three and a half hours. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Check that description, A main, E main, Amazon, and Horizon. Uh, there are affiliate links. They help out the channel and you guys use those links. So guys, check that description, use those links, give it a big thumbs up, and thank you all for watching. Hey guys, if you're still watching and you're hearing this message, you are absolutely awesome. I want to tell you guys, you are the cream of the crop. Um, also, if you're listening this far, well, you know, if you want to help directly support ExoCaged RC, got the channel memberships, $2, $5, $10, and $25. You get early viewing, and sometimes I get to put up a little extra footage for you guys. So guys, check that description, and thank you so much.